Hi, I'm Merck, I'm from Viscopic and today we'll be having a look at the brand new HoloLens 2. Uh, we'll be unboxing it and showing the main functionalities of it. So let's get into it. Right. Microsoft announced the HoloLens 2. It was announced this February and finally we're getting our hands on the actual product. Uh, this is the package. The first thing we see here is the uh, carrying case that comes along with it. It has an adjustable strap and the HoloLens 2 name here. It's pretty minimal. I assume everything else is also inside. There we go. So this is the HoloLens 2. Looks pretty similar to the HoloLens 1, uh, but with a few key differences. So as we can see now, the main computing power is in the back, uh, along with the battery. What that means is now it's almost perfectly balanced in the center. And even though it's just slightly different in weight, it's just a few grams lighter than the first one, it's actually supposed to be way more comfortable because it's way more balanced. So it doesn't lie on the tip of your nose anymore, uh, as users of the HoloLens 1 would know, but it actually goes on like a cup, adjusts from the back pretty easily, and then fits just fine. Another thing that ergonomically is one of my favorite things of the HoloLens 2 is this. So as a user we spent countless hours actually with this thing on and while well, now with the HoloLens 2 you can just simply tip it off. It also comes with an adjustable strap on the head and the way to adjust the size on the back is way more uh, robust than the HoloLens 1. It also comes with a detachable headgear that you can clean at any moment. So having a look at what it's included in the box, uh, besides the device itself, we have included is the manual. It comes with all the basic information needed for the first time usage. We also have the safety guide and included is a power brick with the corresponding European adapter that's used for charging the device and also a USB-C cable that's used for both charging and connecting the device to a computer and that's pretty much it. There's a few differences visually, but what also changes are mainly we have a new sensor in the front, which is the Azure Connect, which is useful for uh, spatially mapping the environment, but also now doing semantic understanding, so it can tell the difference between what is a floor, what is a table, and what and where our hands are. Speaking of hand tracking, it's now way more intuitive, so Anyone that had the uh, Hollands one knows that the main interaction was this, to a very specific pinching motion, but now we have way more natural interaction. Um, there's two sensors actually in the Azure Connect. One is facing forward for scanning the environment, and one is facing downwards for scanning our hands, which is way more high fidelity and higher frame rate. That means that even though if I'm looking forward and I have my hands here, the Hollands can still track me doing this. Um, this means that we get way more natural interactions in terms of pushing things, grabbing things, modifying and manipulating uh, holograms. There's also five microphones in the device. Three are used for ambient noise or ambient sound. And there's actually two microphones here 
that do speech recognition. We also have uh, a wider field of view. So with the new HoloLens 2, we actually have more than double the field of view. It's both uh, bigger vertically and horizontally. It's more of a three by two uh, display, well as it used to be a more of a 16 by nine. And that means that we have more than double the uh, space we can see the holograms because one key difference with the HoloLens 1 was that the space that we could see things was very limited. So when you put the HoloLens on and you start it for the first time, the first thing that happens is that you are asked to calibrate uh, eye tracking. Uh, what happens then is that it does three things for you. One, it actually finds the uh, interpupillary distance, which is the distance between your eyes to optimize how the, hol the holograms are projected. It also provides another means of interaction. So when you're looking at text, it automatically scrolls left and right and up and down for you. And it can also be used as a security measure in the point that you can share this device with coworkers or only with specific people by having it uh, scan the retina and actually use it as a login feature. Already working with Polygon's viewer is so much easier on the HoloLens 2 because we're actually taking advantage of the uh, hand gestures to move and place and manipulate holograms. Interactions are way more intuitive with the new hand gestures uh, when it comes to designing a layout, for example, and moving objects and holograms around the scene. For example, you can use this to do a planning of your factory by setting up your layout using holograms in real scale in real time and actually collaborating with other people to make the best of your resources. You can contact us at our website or at our support email find more about our products and the use cases that they fulfill.